New information tonight as we come on the air. Two men charged in the death of a Theodore High School senior. She was killed in a car crash Friday afternoon. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson joins us now. Rachel, it has been an emotional weekend for this family. It has, Andrea. What was supposed to be a week of celebration turned into tragedy for 18-year-old Devney Rooney's family. Devaney Rooney was supposed to walk across this stage receiving her diploma at Lad People Stadium last night. Instead, a red ribbon was placed in her seat. And her sister accepted the diploma as a rainbow hovered above the ceremony. Rooney died in a head-on collision on Schillinger Road around 5.30 Friday afternoon. The Alabama law enforcement agency says 21-year-old Yaderic Madera allegedly struck Rooney's car after swerving from his lane into Rooney's to avoid a car pulling out in traffic. Another man, 22-year-old Logan Woodruff, was driving a second vehicle which was also involved in the accident. He too is charged with vehicular homicide. Jail records show both suspects live near the scene. Police say Madera was in possession of marijuana. We're told Rooney was wearing a seatbelt and her cap and gown was in the car. I'll never forget her. She was literally one of my closest friends. Friends say Rooney was taken too soon. Many honored her life Saturday, releasing balloons and sharing memories. She just, you know, greets everybody when she was around and just happy to be around and, and always talk to you. And, Always in a good mood and she's just a great child. Rooney had planned to attend Mississippi College in the fall. She was going to go on a full ride and wouldn't have to pay any money. So that was that was a big accomplishment for her. The family describes Rooney as inspiring, ambitious, and caring person everyone loved deeply and will be greatly missed. Devaney's mother told me she was mama's baby and daddy's girl. They did not have life insurance for her and there is a GoFundMe page if you would like to help out. Greg.